Hi everyone. In this video I will be demonstrating a couple of commands and options available in Stata that you may find useful in those cases where you wish to perform some type of subgroup analysis. So before I get started I do want to mention that underneath the video description you will find a link to the Stata data file that I'll be working from in this presentation. So you can download a copy of the data to follow along. And in that data file, you're going to uh, find uh, various uh, variables, or several variables. Uh, included are going to be performance goals, achievement, and mastery goals. And during the presentation, these variables are going to be treated as uh, numeric. Then we have gender ID and SES level. So both of these variables are going to be treated as grouping variables. And so gender ID. Uh, has uh, codes of 0 and 1 on it. Uh, basically a value of 0 indicates a person identified as male, a value of 1 indicates a person identified as female. With respect to SES level or socioeconomic level, uh, we have values of 1, 2, and 3 where 1 equals low SES, 2 is medium SES, and 3 is high SES. So for the first uh, demonstration, we're going to be generating some descriptive statistics for the mastery goals variable. And I'll begin just by, uh, by uh, performing or generating output uh, without consideration of any type of subgroups. So I'm going to go down to the command line and I'm going to type summarize and then mastery right there. So we're using the summarize command. It's going to generate just a, a small set of uh, descriptive statistics. When we press enter you'll see that we've got number of observations for mastery goals is 140. There's our mean of uh, 2.854. Standard deviation is roughly 1.4. Now let's say that I want to generate uh, the mean and standard deviation for mastery goals for cases that fall into the low SES group, basically those cases that are coded 1. So if I go down to the command line, I can type in summarize, or I'm going to type in actually sum, which is just an abbreviation for summarize. I'll type in sum mastery, and then I'm going to use the if command. So I'm going to type in if, and then SES, L-E-V, and then I'm going to type in equal sign equal sign and both of those have to follow uh, follow each other directly like like you see right here and now I'll type in a one so you can see it says set SES lev uh, equals equals and one and so when I press enter now it's going to generate um, the number of observations for mastery goals in that group is 43 the mean is 2.74 uh, standard deviation is roughly 1.36 so you cannot type in just an equal sign though. Uh, so if I go down here and I type in sum mastery if SES lev and then I type equals one, I'm going to get an error message. So it must you must have uh, two equal signs next to each other. So now let's generate um, the mean and standard deviation on mastery goals for persons in the medium SES group. So in this case I'll type in sum mastery if SES lev equals equals and then a 2 right here. So when I press enter you can see I've got the mean and standard deviation on mastery for uh, the medium SES group and then we'll type in uh, sum mastery if SES lev uh, equals equals 3 right there and uh, press enter and so you can see now we have the mean and standard deviation on mastery for persons in the high SES group. So you can see that uh, that if command is pretty powerful uh, but it can become somewhat tedious if you are uh, wanting to generate uh, subgroups or generate statistics for various subgroups and there are a lot of different subgroups. Another option that may make things a little bit more efficient is to use the by prefix with the sort option. So I'm going to type by sort and then SES lev and then a colon and then following that we'll type our summarize command so I'll type sum then mastery and then when I press enter you'll see that now I get output by group so you'll see it says SES lev equals low uh, 
the low right here is just the label assigned to that group. So if I didn't have labels, it would have just said one. Uh, for medium group right here, uh, the value is two. And then the, for the high group, that value is three again. So again, these are labels. But we get our output by each of those three groups. So that makes life a lot uh, simpler. Um, if I want to get some additional information as well, I can type in by sort. Um, SES lev colon sum mastery comma and then detail and so basically the detail option is associated with that summarize uh, command right here and I'm going to get additional information for each of the three groups so you can see I've got uh, the low SES group you can see I get my mean and standard deviation variance skew skewness and kurtosis as well as various percentiles so that's for the low group you can see I get uh, information for the medium group as well as the high SES group right there. So now let's uh, look at using uh, the if command and using by sort with a regression analysis. So we're going to uh, be working with subgroups uh, when we're using a regression. So what I'm going to do st start off with is just a basic regression analysis carried out on the entire sample. So I will type in regress uh, and I could use REG for short, so I'm going to type regress, the name of the dependent variable as achievement, uh, and then the names of two independent variables. I'm just going to go ahead and use mastery and performance goals right here. So when I press enter, you'll see that the regression analysis has been carried out on the full set of observations. So in this case, it's 140 observations. And now let's say that I want to generate my regression output for persons identifying as male and persons identifying as female. So in this case, we're going to be working with this gender ID variable right here. And remember that we have uh, values of 0 and 1 for gender ID. So in this case, I'm going to start off with the if command. So I'll type in reg for short for uh, regress, then achieve mastery. P -E -R -F -G -O -A -L, that's for performance goals, if, and then gender ID, and then two equal signs, and follow that up with a zero. And so we're going to generate a regression results for persons identified as male. And so in this, uh, in our sample, we had 32 uh, persons identified as male, and so we get our regression results here. So now we'll do it for uh, female. So I'll type in reg uh, achieve mastery then performance goals if gender ID is equal to 1. So I'll press enter right there and you can see that we had 108 individuals who had identified as female and we have regression results for, for that group. Uh, again, I could use the by sort command very easily. I'll just type in by sort and then we'll type in gender ID colon and then reg achieve then mastery and then performance goals right here and when I hit enter now you can see that I get my regression results by those two groups so in this case uh, uh, again this is the label for uh, the, the group that's coded uh, zero so this is the identified male group and so we have our regression output and then when we scroll down we have our identified female uh, group with our regression results if we want to do this by uh, SES, we can easily do it as well. We, we can just use the by sort, um, and then we'll type in SES lev colon, then regress, excuse me, regress, achieve, and then uh, mastery and performance goals right there. And when I uh, press enter, you can see that I get my regression results for cases or individuals uh, who fall at low, medium, and high SES. Now, one other uh, thing that we might be interested in doing is generating uh, this, our regression outputs uh, by combinations of gender ID and, and uh, SES. So to do that, we can still use the by sort um, command right here. I'll type in by sort, and then I'll type in gender ID, and then SES lev, and then colon. So then I type in reg, and then achieve mastery and performance goals and so when I press enter in this case you can see that we get regression results for each combination of levels so if I scroll back up here you'll see that we've got 
uh, persons identified as male, we have low SES and we have our regression output. For persons identified as male, medium SES, we have our regression output. Then male and high SES with our regression output as well. Then we have female, low SES, female, medium SES, and then female, high SES. So you can see that we've now got regression results uh, uh, for each uh, combination of levels for gender ID and SES level. Okay, so now let's transition to another demonstration. And in this case, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be uh, computing uh, descriptive statistics for mastery goals uh, for persons falling above the mean on performance goals. So remember that our performance goals variable uh, is a numeric variable. So what I'm going to show you in this case is I'm going to go down to the command line and I will type in sum and then P-E-R-F-G-O-A-L for performance goals and then I'll add in a comma and then the detail option. When I hit enter you'll see again we get our mean, we get our standard deviation, we get our variance, skewness, kurtosis, and percentiles. So now let's say that I want to uh, generate the mean on mastery goals for cases that are falling above the mean on performance goals. So to do this I'm going to use my, F command, uh, my uh, if command so I'm going to type in sum, then mastery, and then if, and then we'll type in performance goals right here, is greater than the 35.0564. And so that's the number uh, that you see right here. So when I press enter, you can see that now we have 65 observations on mastery goals that fall above uh, the mean on performance goals and so the mean for um, for that subgroup on performance goals is 2.492 the standard deviation is 1.26 now let's say that I want to uh, generate um, the mean on mastery for uh, cases that fall uh, above or equal to or greater than or equal to uh, 40 on performance goals let's just see what happens so in this case I'll type in sum mastery if performance goals I'm going to type a, a greater than sign and then an equal sign and then we'll type 40 right here and press enter and so now you can see uh, that we've got uh, the mean and standard deviation on mastery goals for persons scoring uh, equal to or greater than 40 on performance goals we could also do it in the opposite direction we could look at less than or equals uh, just as easily so let's just say I, I type in sum mastery if performance goals uh, is less than or equal to um, we'll, we'll put we'll just type in a 30 right here and press enter and so there you go all right now let's uh, generate our mean and standard deviation for individuals uh, who are falling between uh, the 25th and the 75th percentiles on the performance goal variable. So we have that information actually up here because we had uh, used the detail option when we were requesting um, the descriptives on performance goals. So the 25th percentile is 21.52869. The 75th is 47.06983. So I'm going to go down to the command line right here and I'm going to type sum then mastery if uh, and then we'll type in uh, performance goals is greater than or equal to 21.52869 and then I'm going to type and and then we'll type in performance goals again less than or equal to 47.06983 so now when I hit enter I get uh, basically my mean and standard deviation for cases falling between the 25th and the 75th percentiles on uh, performance goals. All right, and uh, briefly, just just so you can see it, uh, I could still use that same um, set of uh, arguments with the uh, summarize command, but then if I add a comma and then detail on the end, you'll see that uh, I, in addition to getting the mean and standard deviation, uh, on mastery goals uh, for cases falling between the 25th and the 75th percentiles of performance goals. Now you can see I get um, 
uh, the uh, variance, skewness, and kurtosis in various percentiles um, on that particular variable within that range of values on performance goals. Okay, so one final thing uh, that I wanted to show you, there's just one other option uh, where let's say we've got our numeric variable and I want to create subgroups. And by the way, I ordinarily would not encourage uh, the creation of, of uh, subgroups on a numeric variable, but sometimes people want to do this um, for various reasons. And so I, I wanted to show you how you can do this very easily, and then we'll use the by sort um, approach. So in the, the command line, what I'm going to do is type generate, and then I'll type PG. So this is what I'm going to do is create four subgroups on performance goals. The first subgroup representing the first 25% of the cases. The next one would represent the next 25% of the cases. Then the remaining two groups are uh, additional 25 and 25% respectively. So I'm going to type generate PG equals and then a period right there. And when I hit enter, you'll see that I've generated a new variable in the data set called PG. And uh, it says, 140 missing values generated. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, use the replace command in order to replace those missing values with values of 1, 2, 3, or 4 to represent group 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'll go back to the command line right here and I'll type in sum then uh, performance goals so uh, right there then comma and I'm going to use detail uh, right here just to get um, you know, again, not only the mean standard deviation, but I'm going to be using the percentiles in this particular case. So what we'll do at this point is we want to replace uh, PG, the missing values on uh, for PG uh, with values of 1 if performance goals um, for cases uh, fall at or below 21.52869. So it's going to be this number right here. So if I go to command and I type in replace, oops, excuse me, replace, uh, well, there we go again, replace, uh, I'll say PG equals 1, and then if, then we'll type in performance goals uh, is less than or equal to 21.52869. Eight six nine, and then we'll hit enter and so now you can see it says 35 real changes made then when I type in replace PG equals 2 if performance goals now in this case we're working with a range of values so I'm going to say is greater than 21.52869 we'll use and the and sign and then performance goals is less than or equal to the 50th percentile, which in this case is going to be 32.87504. So when I uh, plug that in and hit um, enter, now I have 35 additional changes made. So if I just stop right there and I look at the data set, I'll go to the data editor right here and we'll scroll over to that. Uh, that new variable PG you can see that we have values of 1 and 2 substituted in but we also have a number of uh, still missing values so we've got to do it for the remaining uh, two groups as well so we'll go back to uh, replace and then we'll say PG 3 uh, PG is equal to 3 if performance goals is greater than we'll just say 30 greater than the uh, 50th percentile of 32.875 Zero four, uh, and uh, performance goals is less than or equal to our 75th percentile which is this 47.06983 right here so I'll just copy that and paste it in and then uh, enter and so now we've got uh, group 3 set up and then we'll do replace PG equals 4 if performance goals is greater than our 75th percentile which is uh, 47.06983 and so when we hit enter we now have uh, replaced all the missing values with either one two three or four so if we go back to our data editor and just take a quick look you can see uh, our variable with those values that are shown and so at this point we can use the by sort uh, for uh, subgroup analysis so if I go back and I type in by sort uh, PG 
let's just say we type in sum mastery comma detail then you can see that I get um, the uh, descriptive statistics for mastery goals in each of those um, in, the, in the, each of those ranges of values on performance goals. So we got basically performance goals group one we have our mastery goals descriptives performance goals group two mass, uh, our descriptives there's uh, group three and then group four that is uh, shown right there. And just in the interest of completeness I'll also do uh, use the by sort and then we'll use our PG colon we'll do a regression analysis I'll type in reg achieve and we'll use mastery and then uh, I, I didn't mention this before but we'll also use interest and anxiety uh, from our data set so we'll type in interest and anxiety right here both of those are numeric we'll hit enter and so now you can see that we have the regressions carried out for group one on performance goals group two on performance goals group three and group four like I said ordinarily I would not encourage um, you know creating groups like this with a numeric variable but there might be occasions where you find that that is something that you uh, want to do so at any rate that uh, pretty well wraps up this uh, video presentation uh, and I appreciate you watching